Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we completed the final trials of the sword, unlocking its true splendor, which that true splendor comes in the form of an unlimited durability, a base power of 60, which of course doubles to 120 whenever we're fighting any great evil like a boss or Lynel or Calamity Ganon, what have you. So it's, it's pretty overpowered. It's, we are the cat's meow now. And also you guys have told me that all the times that I've done this and wondered why it, sword beams didn't come out of my sword, it's because I didn't have full hearts and I should have known how that works. So now I know. Now today, before we're going to be going to the south, we need to go to the east and the middle and probably the north. Because there are some things that I've noticed off-screen, because whenever I want to play this game, and I know I can't make any progress, I just wander around. I wander around and sometimes I discover something, like, uh, uh, like a boss off-screen, or a Korok seed that I'm not going to collect unless I'm recording. And so now, we are going to be grabbing some of those things which I've noticed, but was unable to get. The first of those locations is in the Zora's, well, the, I guess it's the Laneru region. When I completed this the first time, or I guess the only time I completed it, I was so eager to leave the area and explore new places that I left much of the region completely untouched, completely un, unseen. And so things like this in the, the Talus Plateau are untouched by us. I, I don't even think we've been to Win actually I th we might have been to Winter Island. I'm not sure. But we haven't been to this lagoon to my knowledge. We haven't been to Brina Plain or Laneru Bay. We just left those alone. And this is what ends up happening. We end up having bosses. Oh, also uh I should probably not have this sword. I defeated Lionel in the end slate of last video, so I have some cool inventory. And I can also, you know, bring myself to near death. So let's see, a Hinox. We know how to face these things. I just need to down some food. Full recovery plus two, that works. Hello. Take that. Man, it's it's actually been a while since I've played Breath of the Wild because when I am recording trials, I don't have to worry about needing your guys' input and also I can't stop playing because, you know, it's, it's one big cohesive experience and I can't just stop playing. Uh, run. Oh yeah. Wow, that. He's really not that difficult. When you can hit him in the face before you can block his eye. Oh, I missed. Uh, let's. Oh boy. Ow. So I I've recorded ahead so far that it leaves me feeling a bit rusty. Plus I've been sick, as you guys probably know. I mean, it didn't interrupt the schedule at all, but it was definitely, it definitely caused a couple episodes to be about a day late. Cool. Hi, Nox. Ooh. Hello. Boop. Ooh. And that Korok led me to Bombable Rock? Yeah, this is indeed Bombable Rock. Well, cool. I was going to complain that now I have to climb up, but it led me to... It led me to a rare deposit? No, this is not a rare deposit. It's just a deposit. Okay. Oh, but this is the rare deposit. Hello. Topazes, sapphires, rock salt. Who doesn't love that combination on their eggs in the morning? Oh, I remember this. This is where, a number of episodes ago, we swam up the shores, and we grabbed two silver rupees out of the hands of a Lionel. And you know what? Because this episode's kind of, you know, full of exploration, I want to I wanna set things straight. I want to kill this Lionel. So let's start off with, Oh my word. Oh my word. Is this the first time we've had a full stack of arrows? And it's not even normal arrows, they're shock arrows. I am... We have reached a pinnacle. 
You. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he swings three times. Oh, this is not. Oh, this is not a normal Lionel. We've never faced an an abnormal Lionel. Here, swinging it. Oh, flurry rush. And I'm actually I'm excited because I've been wanting to go out of my way to kill things. To after the the trial where I kind of chickened out. And here's my chance. I don't know what this Lionel is technically called. Uh, I would call him a blue Lionel. Oh, fire. Oh! My body. Oh! Avoided him? Can I mount him? I can't mount him. I shield bashed him. Wow. I'm proud of myself. I didn't even dodge. I shield ba- Oh, wait. That was- that was Daru. Okay. Okay. Yeah! Shock arrow? There's the fire. Uh, I, I have Mifa's blessing. I'm cool. Whoa! Land on him? I didn't land on him, but... Oh, I didn't get the shield bash. Ooh. Thank you, Mifa. He's almost dead. I can't get the shield bash timing, but I will. I will. I won't chicken out and use Flurry Rush. Uh, full recovery plus four. Hardy elixir. I'm I'm cool with that. Okay, what are you gonna do? Uh, I I broke the Lionel shield. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's move on to our other Lionel shield. Ah oh, man, I, I'm really I really am enforcing this. You know I'm just gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna flurry rush. Or do that. Okay. He's almost dead. And he's dead. Yeah. We did it! Also, I just realized I had my stealth, stealth gear on. You guys are probably yelling at me in the comments. So, shock arrows to replace the, like, three I used. A Lionel hoof. Or this rare ingredient. It's larger than a horse hoof. It's useful for making elixirs. Nice. Horns, guts. A mighty Lionel shield. A savage Lionel bow with five shot burst. Really? Five shot burst. I thought three was impressive, and I can't carry any more. And a mighty Lionel sword with attack up of 20? What? That's almost as good as the Master Sword. Almost. When fighting Bokoblins. We are to the Lagoon, which I've never been to. What are, what are we on? 66 episodes, and I've never been to this Lagoon. So, I'm, I'm really curious as to what it has. It's, it's named. It has these weird, really weird... What are, these really weird updrafts. Oh! I need to shoot that. And what? We get a cutscene for that? That's curious. Why did we get a cutscene for that? That is not normal. Also, what are those crabs? I don't remember those crabs. Are they just like what are they? They're everywhere. Oh, oh they're iron shells. Oh, okay. They're, and they are indeed everywhere. They're good goodness. I might as well grab some of these because this is Crab Central. In fact, you know what? Let's on the map. Let's mark this with a a pot because this is special. But why did we get a cutscene for this? That is not normal. It's not normal at all. And what is that up there? Oh, it's it's Cass. Well, that would explain why we're getting a weird cutscene. It's a, a quest. It's a, a shrine quest or something. In fact, yeah, there's the shrine right there. So, what is this for? Hey, tempestuous wind. Oh, I was sure that I would be alone in so remote a place. Pardon me for not greeting you sooner. Oh. oh, it's you, although I guess I should not be surprised to see you here. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear it? Oh. Excellent. Without further ado. He breaks the rocks that serve to bind up above the, temp the tempestuous bay. On wings of cloth and wood entwined, he lands on an altar to open the way. Wood and cloth, so... Hmm. 
But what sort of rings are made of wood and cloth? It's a, Zeus, a juicy riddle, but one I may never puzzle out. Take care and may the light illuminate your path. Master of the Wind. So I uh, can only assume that we need a raft. That seems accurate, maybe. Oh, there's another rock thing we can break. Uh, can I just use bombs? Because I... Bomb arrows are rare, and... Okay, that, that cake don't bake. We're gonna have to use bomb rocks. Or, uh, not bomb rocks, uh, but, uh, the, the things. You know, the... The things. The bomb arrows. So where are we going here? This doesn't really lead any place. Oh, whoa. Hello. Is that Nadra? So we're looking for rocks to bomb, and then we'll solve the other part of the riddle. The, the first one calls to bomb rocks, the second part calls to make a sail of wood and cloth, which I can only assume is a raft, or something we found on the, the shores over over that away. Uh, oh, there's a bomble, a bomble spot. Bomb arrows. So we, we're making this weird kind of channel. Whereas here, oh, oh, hello. We, I was wrong. I, I stand corrected. There's indeed one more thing we have to bomb and that might make things a little bit clearer. So, Scribbleoosh, what does that do for us? We're, give, we're getting quite a big cutscene here, showing that a channel of air has been opened, leading to that. Wait, whoa. So now it's enabled. So we've gotten every single rock. flying what I'm flying to I don't know but I'm, I'm flying it's taking me directly to the thing wait what that's that's really all they wanted to happen no no weird puzzles with wood and bringing wood to the they just wanted me to land on the thing okay that was that was strange and I honestly don't know how that was supposed to work, but it did. Apparently you can start in one end and without touching the water or the ground, end on the other. Even though I didn't do it, I still kind of cheated my way out. So neat. We did it. A little bit. Shyota Shrine. Shyota's Blessing. Which has a chest, which I'm not sure how good the reward will be, considering how late we are in the game. Great flame blade with durability up. Not the worst thing, I guess. I, I could have gotten something much worse, like a eightfold blade. The only thing left to do in the Lanayu region, I think it's just to go down this this bay. I think that's all we need to do. And for that, I don't. I would rather not be in the water. So let's go over to the shore. And it should be a sure fire shot to the end of this. Trotter's downfall. That's weird, and I don't think... Yeah, we've never been here. We've never been here. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised by the amount of, of meat this episode has had to it. I thought we would spend maybe the first half getting stuff, and then the latter half exploring uh, n the new area, but no. I, I was... Definitely wrong about that. There there seems to be a lot that we've missed. Like this, Korok. Oh man, that was perfect. Let's here, let's go to that little pass, because that's the thing that's named. Right there, that that little crevasse, that is the thing that is called Trotter's Downfall. Don't know why, 
but it is, and it looks like there's a, a little field or forest on past it, which might have a stone talus, you never know, which is good not because it's a boss, but because it's a source of money later on. Later on, I can come over here whenever, uh, the, after a blood moon and grind on taluses. Oh, it's a Hinox, though. Well, I'm glad I came here, then. Alrighty, what, what weapon do I want for this? You know what? We've already faced one of these things. I'm the Master Sword, then. Okay, hit him in the face, and... Kill him? Easily? You know, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep swinging. Yeah! He drops a Royal Broadsword, Royal Bow, which I need to drop something for. Oh, I have a Boko Bow? Yeah, no, I, I, don't, I don't anymore. And a royal halberd. Nice. So if, I rem if I'm remembering this correctly, this is an area that I've actually been spoiled on. I've seen it, yeah, I've seen this twice before. It has, let's see, I'm trying to get my bearings though, regardless. Over here is where the shrine is, I think. So let's drop and at least explore this portion. What are you? A Moblin? Uh, let's change from the Master Sword to the Lionel. Hello! Yeah, sorry, you did not stand a chance. So it has these ruins, which remind me very much of... What's up here? Very much of Shadow of the Colossus. There's this one portion in the game. Uh, let's see, does it even... Is this even spoiling it? Uh, where you fight... He's, he's like a gorilla, honestly. He's he's very much like a gorilla. Also, I am heading the right way? Yes, okay. He's very much like a gorilla, and you find him in these ruins. I hope I'm not spoiling it too much. And for the most part, I'm going to ignore these, these Bakablins. But the, the ruins are very much like this. Just kind of a, a central channel. And it's... A lot of this game, I've, I've already said, give me Shadow of the Colossus vibes. And I guess that's just any set of ruins that give me that. That or Uncharted. But this, these in particular are laid out very similarly with the, the kind of tiered floors. Although I guess it also gives a bit of a Lord of the Rings feel as well. Whoa, hello. Uh, I don't really care about you. Yeah, this is the one, one of the few areas in the game that have actually had spoiled for me. There's a shrine right through there, and you can barely see the reflection of it. And there's a tunnel leading off into the mountain. Yeah, right here. It's so easy to avoid because the... Or, yeah, it's easy to avoid because... I did not mean to do that. The indicator isn't actually giving us an indication towards this direction. It's... When you find it on the map, unless you come in through this, this way, it's pointing you towards the middle of this lake, which you can see above my... Uh, directly above me and so it's it's very off-putting I guess you can go through the waterfall and see it but the official entrance is through is is through the the ruins there we go let's get some lun luminous stones because they are valuable I can trade them in through uh, the one guy at the Zora's domain for diamonds so that's that's nice also full health sword beams Case in point, I, I now know everything about the Master Sword. It's not mysterious anymore. Three boxes. Dao Na Nahe Shrine? Three boxes, eh? Well, there's a chest, which I guess I can grab. I assume my weight won't hold us down. Yeah, this is a huge switch. Look at this thing. Never seen a switch that big. Now, my question is... On the technical side, did they scale that up in size, or did they make a whole new switch for that? I don't know. I would assume the resolution would be very shoddy, or the the model would be, or, and the textures would be very shoddy if it were just scaled up. Uh, this is not high enough. But what does this do? There's no real way to interact with this. 
switch. Unless, wait, wait, so many times this has happened and I've confused myself. We have two... Can I grab that? I can't grab that. We have two chests and many times they kind of... They kind of trick you. And so we have a third chest up there. I'm, I assume we just have to weigh down these switches. That makes the most sense. So, fire arrow... Completely missed. Actually, I don't even need that. Just hit, hit the ropes. Oi. So we have three chests. Which we can use to weigh this switch down. There's one. And don't worry, I will be grabbing that chest. There's two. Yeah, it's being weighed down. Ah! And then we just need a third one, and that should do it? Unless there's something I've missed, like a, a fourth chest. No, that's enough. I assume this... Whoa. Oh. It opens that. So this is not This is not over yet. Okay, let's open this. Oh, I know what we need to use that for. Zora Sword with the long throw. As much as that is cool and all, it's a 15 power sword, and I am rocking... 50 power sword so as I grab my 24 power sword so no thanks just no thanks not even gonna thank you for that one although the long throw is always fun grab this throw it in here no yeah and we use this platform to jump on the block and that is the perfect height. And we're done. No other secrets. No whammies. Nope. Looks like we did it. Unless there's something behind. There's nothing behind. Well, we did it. That was a that was a pretty straightforward shrine. Diamond! Yeah! I did it! Wait, bears? Bears? There are bears in this game? When are th were there bears in this game? I don't remember bears. Oh! I discovered bears. Oh, man. What are they? They have a lot of health. Wow. Oh, he's dead? Will I get hit by him falling? No. There are bears in this game. That's cool! And they were guarding this cave with a sparkly dew on it? Oh. Oh. There's nothing in here but bee honey. Really? Oh, they're bears. Bees. Yes. I get it. They were Winnie the Pooh. Is that all they were guarding in this part of the map? Just that? I thought we were stumbling across the, like a secret. The secret of the bears. But no, they, they were just bears. A number of episodes ago, as I say every single time something happened in a, a span of time I can't remember, I was around this area. I have no clue why. I, I really have no idea why I was here. But I was here, off screen, and I picked up a shrine indicator, and so I dropped this, this shield on the map and just didn't bother with it until I could bother with it, which is now. So... We're, we're currently... We have a pretty good fix. It's actually taking us right to the shield. I don't think I found it when... When I, I picked up the, the indicator. I just dropped the shield where the signal was. So... You see, the one thing you have to understand is I love this game. It's, it's great. The world is fantastic. The battles the system feels amazing. And sometimes... There's a Poe down there. I, there are a bunch of trees. I don't remember these trees. And sometimes I, I try to play the game in a manner that... Or I try to play the game when I'm not... There's the shrine. When I'm not recording, and it's hard. Because I have to go to the places I've already been. Which I guess that's what I was doing in this area. I was just wandering around places I've been before. And I stumbled across something that I haven't seen before. It looks like this is a portion of the... The forest that, that once was. Maybe Ganon destroyed the old De Deku tree? I don't know. Or I guess he couldn't have because that Deku tree was present. 
A modest test of strength. Well, neat. I love battling. I love battles. Battles are b b battle-y. We'll gladly take on the easy one of the easiest enemies we can possibly face. Oh man, he doesn't even have a shield. That makes things easier than I thought. Oh buddy. Honey. Honey. Oh man. I I tell you, I took on the major test of strength. Actually, wait a minute. I've been told this works. Where is it? My armor. Uh this and this. Redu will reduce my damage to guardians. And I guess with the pants as well. There. There we go. Let's get some flurry rushes showing exactly how far I've come since taking on the major test, or not the major test strength, the, the major trials. And now he's doing this attack. Let's not freeze him. Skrabloosh. And then, uh, switching over to a cleaving weapon, if I have one. I do, it's a frost blade. There. And then switching over to the pokey weapon again because it outranges him. And finishing him off. Maybe he'll ma take a swing with an axe, or maybe he'll just die. The, both, the, both of these are possibilities. It looks like he's just going to die. Yeah, that's it. Well, that was sad. <laughs> that was that was something we should have had. We should have taken on a number of episodes ago. I, I say that a lot. That's my. I guess that's my catchphrase, which is sad. We should have taken this on like. When we first went to the the Korok Forest or the Lost Woods, and then maybe it would have been difficult. But even then, it is a. I don't even want to take this weapon. I'm, I'm gonna leave it. Even then, it's a minor or a modest test of strength, so it can never be that difficult. And the last loose end I can think of is down in the east, or I guess it'd be the South Nakluda region, and it's right down here, in in this this gorge there is a Stalnox and it's daytime so I can't face it uh. Uh. Oh. oh he's up why I don't know why he's up but he's up Stalnox time I went to go save some people and it you know I was busy Okay, you, sir, it is time for you to meet your maker, and that your maker's not me. I, I'm not your maker. Hui, hi, hui, 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 hi, hui, hi, half health. And now, oh, come on, there, and his eyes out, and is this it? Is this it for the Stalnox? Come, stasis, yeah. Get out of here. I do have Mepha's Blessing active. Uh, my broadsword broke. Uh, let's get a broadsword part two. Come on. Oh, wow. I didn't die, though. Oh, well, that's nice. I always thought that was an in-skill move. And he's done. He drops a great flame blade. These things... Uh, you know what? I can throw away... I'm gonna throw away one of my broadswords. Actually, no. Let's throw away the flame blade. I have so many of these things. It's not even funny. Uh, that's a great flame blade. Did I just get a normal one? Great, great. Okay, well, let's throw away the flame spear. Because that thing is normal and bad. There. We did it! And is that it? Is that all she wrote for this episode? That's crazy. I thought we were going to be getting to actually new stuff, but no, I've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes, which I think that means it's a wrap. Hopefully it's not too much of a wrap, and I have to separate out this out into two episodes or something. I, I think that an hour and 20 minutes is fine for me to edit down. So thank you guys so much for watching. We didn't really cover much new stuff. It was mainly backtracking, but it needed to happen. It really did. As much as... And exploring new things is great it doesn't really matter if we've left a bunch of of loose ends in the places we've already been we're gonna have to backtrack anyway so why not get it all done in one episode 
So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. Next time in Breath of the Wild, we are going to be entering a new region. And that is this region, which has a, a pin in it. I think I saw a shrine from here. I'm, I'm not sure. And we're going to be going there with Sif. Because we haven't seen Sif enough in the past couple of, of episodes. So, thank you guys so much for watching again. And join us next time when we go into that new area. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And I'll see you guys next time. Metal doors open the way. So, we pull? Yeah, we pull. Uh, slip through. Metal doors open the way, huh? This is... I'm expecting enemy... Yeah, I knew it. Whoa! He poked me. There are some enemies in here. Oh, oh my word. Oh my word. This is the best thing ever.